keyword research is a very important part of uh, SEO, search engine optimization, as well as for search engine marketing. So, in this video, I will be explaining some of the few strategies through which how you can do keyword research and uh, how you can use that uh, research in optimizing your uh, SEO services, SEO strategies primarily. So, let's get started with me on how to do keyword research for SEO in this video. So before moving further, I like to say about what is a keyword. A uh, keyword is basically actually a query. Whatever you search on a, uh, any search engine, it is known as a, a keyword. A combined collective words is known as a keyword. So first we will understand what is keyword and then we are going to understand the intent of each keyword and how uh, it affects. So let's say I open Google Chrome here and let me make this a smaller here and let's say if I write something on let's say I open Google and if I write uh, what is web hosting so what is web hosting these are actually four words that combinedly makes a keyword so there are actually two definitions of keyword and one is a keyword and one is a long tail keyword so let me also write here uh, long tail keyword as well so what happens in a long tail when three or more words are being combined together it is known as a long tail keyword so it's ever SEO has become competitive so what people have started doing is people started targeting long tail keywords because they have less competition and good amount of searches see you can see that it has 18,100 searches which makes it a good keyword as well now if I search web hosting combine or web space hosting you know when I search web space hosting it becomes two words and when I search it com combined it is a single word so single word web hosting has a 1 like 35,000 searches so you can see that is actually a big keyword so which is why people prefer long tail keywords such as this what is web hosting so which makes up four words so that is a long tail keyword it has less searches but it is also easy to target whatever your keyword you like to target is you need to understand the intent behind every keyword before targeting is for instance if I have to divide the keyword, I may divide the intent of keyword based on various things. In, uh, intent of keywords. Intent of keywords can be on uh, awareness, informational, commercial, like buying, shopping. Okay. I can divide the keyword on awareness information and buying information so what can be the keyword you know if a keyword has a good amount of searches and it is a less competitive it doesn't necessarily mean that it is a good keyword to target even for SEO or even for PPC what you have to understand is you have to understand the intent of the keyword behind it to study is it really a worthwhile keyword to target or not having just focusing on search uh, volume of a keyword doesn't necessarily qualify some keyword to be a good keyword for instance if I am selling, if I have a hosting company, my company is, for example, is I am selling web hosting services online. My company name is abcd.com. Okay, it's my company where I sell web hosting company. Now, if I see, like if I have seen two keywords, what is web hosting keyword and web hosting keyword? Although web hosting word has a 1 lakh 35,000 searches, but does it necessarily qualify for me to rank on it? That is the question and that we are going to understand through the intent. Now we have divided intent into four sectors, awareness, informational and uh, commercial. Commercial comes to types, buying and shopping keywords. So what can be this keyword? Web hosting is a generic word. You know, when I'm searching web hosting, it means that I don't know or I'm looking for what is web hosting. For instance, if I search what is web hosting, it doesn't necessarily mean I want to buy web hosting. Do, do I want to buy web hosting? No. It is an awareness keyword. Awareness keyword. Awareness means, uh, uh, awareness means that I don't know what the product is and I like to know about this thing. Now, how much I, I advertise on this word or how much I try to rank on this word it won't necessarily generate me good sales because the intent of the user is awareness regarding the particular thing 
so the user wants to know what is web hosting he do not want to buy it so keeping in mind this thing it is not a good idea to rank for this keyword so let me think about something else my if there is an information uh web hosting S- ssd hosting which hosting should i buy uh ssd or other okay okay now in, in this scenario which hosting should i buy the user is actually is looking for more information on which kind of hosting is good for me also there are four types of uh, uh, web hosting i told in in my another video where i shared uh, shared hosting reseller hosting vps hosting dedicated hosting which type of hosting is good for me is actually an information keyword which or uh, which hosting should i buy or which type of hosting is good for me again here it's an information keyword i am looking for information i am do not want to buy i am looking for information i am trying to learn which thing is good for my business again it's not a targeted keyword unless and until your budget is uh, you too much or you are willing to pay uh, too much it is not a targeted keyword because the customer is not ready to buy the product rather is looking to find out more information about it so that again is a very important thing in understanding the keyword research that the customer is not yet ready to buy the product once he is ready we can target it but right now he is not ready so let's move on uh, to another type and that is a commercial type which is a buying or sh- uh, shopping keywords for instance hosting under dollar 10 that is a buying keyword why because the customer have decided to buy the product and now is looking for a cheap deal so hosting at a 10 dollar is a buying keyword because customer is now ready to buy and he is looking for options on which to buy or buy web hosting again that is a buying keyword because now customer wants to buy so we so although this keyword has a 590 searches as compared to the keyword what is web hosting which had around 18100 searches this keyword is much better than that keyword why because that keyword will waste your money and this keyword will actually generate you sales so understand the concept of keyword intent behind every user if you follow uh, if you fail to follow this concept you will be never be able to succeed because seo is a part of marketing it is not just about bringing visitors to our website as a marketer we need to understand the intent of the user behind every keyword in case if you do, are not able to follow that you you can't be a big marketer and in case if your client is not understanding this thing it is your duty to make him or her understand on the intent of the keyword and how you plan to do your seo strategy a website receiving 10000 visitors a day making no sales and a website receiving 1000 visitors a day and making 10 sales which website is better let me ask you you tell which website is better a website uh, getting 1000 visitors less 10 times less than a website which is getting 10000 visitors but that website is not making a sale because that is targeting uh, awareness keyword and that or information keyword and that is a website which is targeting pure sales keyword and that is generating the keyword so that makes that website an automatically very good website because that is generating sales so now let's move on to the other part of uh, the tools i use so uh i will be showing you uh, now look, the question is how to find good keywords so i will so i use keyword everywhere you have seen these uh, search results coming right now in front of you and these long tail keywords or related keywords coming to you that is i'm using the keyword everywhere tool which is actually a pay tool and i pay a little bit amount of it uh like uh, it's a 10 dollar and it works for an year so it's a very good and cheap way to find me a list of relevant keywords and it also tells me the keyword uh searches as well as the competition and slightly about cpc in case if i have to advertise on this keyword in google ads the second keyword tool i use is that is sem rush sem rush is a very famous and you will be fi- uh, able to find the link of this tool in the video section so in case if you want to buy buy from my link so that is a tool i also use Uh, and it is also very helpful in um, telling me the competitors, and I can even find out my competitor uh, uh, targeted keywords and target them as well. And the third is uh, Google Ideas, where you where you can find Google related related searches. In the end of the search results, Google actually shows some related queries. That is also a way to find on keywords. So for now, let's move on to the 
competitor analysis of keyword research through uh, SEM rush that is my ultimate goal so I can find out through two ways for instance if I write by web hosting I write a uh, query over here and I will be provided with a list of relevant keywords and second uh, great function of SEM rush is that it will tell you your competitor keywords on what keywords they are targeting and on which position they are ranking at the moment because you know your competitors are your best teachers and uh, SEM rush will be able to find you that uh, will find will help you in finding your competitor targeted keywords so for instance when I search by hosting and uh, GoDaddy, DreamHost, Hostinger, Bluehost uh, host getter I mean so many good competitors I have but let's say I search by web hosting in New York let me see if I get some queries so even let's say let me make it even shorter okay this keyword also has uh, 70 searches which is actually very less amount but that is a targeted uh, uh, keyword because a customer is looking for a good web hosting company in New York let me see what kind of a relevant queries we get for web hosting in New York and let me see the top competitor over here it's a the top results are obtained by Google Ads uh, you, you can now see uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the guys recommending okay host papa let's say the host papa uh, is a very good provider so what I have to do is I have to take this website and search over here and SEM rush will automatically tell me the organic traffic this website is getting it's getting 2k traffic so it means uh, it has 612 keywords where it is already ranking and I can go and find out which position the website is ranking and I can get some good keywords so for instance I can get hosting Texas uh, best hosting plan for e-commerce website or if I have to find out on which position uh, this is uh, guys top so you can see that is top in hosting Texas Papa host login loaner pages loaner pages so my there was I search for web hosting in New York so it doesn't have a very good amount of uh, searches so let's move back to our uh, by web hosting word and you can see it is also recommending me other keywords keyword variations by web hosting with bitcoin shared web hosting how to buy web hosting again how to buy is an informational word not an awareness but informational because the guy wants to know how to buy buy g web hosting is actually a buying or shopping keyword by hosting by web server by web giving me 8937 suggestions over here to related keywords these are the SCRB analysis so let's say if I go to related keywords so I'm getting ample of options another feature I which I like about SEM rush for keyword research is like when uh, once I search let me move again and search again over a, let me move to keyword overview when I search for by web hosting SEM rush also showed me 43 questions what are those questions those questions are basically uh, the questions you see like this people also what is meant by the web hosting what is web hosting types okay in case if you answer these questions as well this will also help in uh, getting your article empowered and there are also chances that your one uh, your article can be ranked for one of these questions so it has hinted me with 43 questions which is actually a good amount of uh, questions to be added in an article this can be another way now another function of uh, SEM rush is that it is selling the keyword difficulty behind every keyword so it is telling me that it is a hundred which means a very difficult keyword very difficult where, but this keyword is a less type because it has a 35 KD it means that it is a good keyword to be targeted or how to buy a server for web hosting it has a 62 KD so it is again a good keyword now the question is what KD is a good it depends upon how old your domain is how many articles your website has ranked but that I will keep that uh, discussion for a separate day in case if you guys want me to do that discussion I will be looking forward for your comment in the video section so I can create a separate video regarding that as well but right now I'm just telling about keywords and how I can get keyword variations 
so you can see i'm getting a list of uh, ample relevant keywords i can even select the kd percentage so i can be shown like this keyword has the less uh, uh, competition so i can with a well structured and unique content i can rank this keyword for this i need a you <laughs> referring domain backlinks and optimized content so sm rush is also suggesting me uh, the keyword difficulty level keyword difficulties and you know this is a 92 is actually a very difficult so try opting for anything lesser than 50 for uh, for a newbie as a keyword difficulty and you will be good to do and you can also do zero structure i have a separate video on my youtube channel regarding what is zero structure and how you can create similar content to rank for a particular content you can also offer zero structure and that can be also helpful for you in that and uh, so these were the strategies uh, through which uh, you can uh, do keyword research. I know you still may be having a lot of question answered, but you know one thing, and that is practice makes a man perfect. So all you have to do is you have to start doing practically and you will learn many things yourself regarding keyword research. So I leave this question up to you on did you find this keyword uh, video useful? Uh, did I miss on something regarding keyword research because I briefly tried to explain on what is keyword research, how you can do uh, within a demonstration of SEM rush as well. So what strategy you like the most? I will be looking forward for your comment uh, on which strategy you like the most or was I able to help you in any way through this video regarding keyword research. So with this, I end this video. I hope you like my video. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you and bye bye.